what is going on everyone Tass official here bringing you guys another discussion video and today we're going to be talking about ash's final gym battle against wolfric the final gym battle that he has to win in order to get that final badge to go to the Kalos league and today with me to discuss this topic is hey guys dj sock puppet here hey what's going on everybody this is alpha ev and let's get started so if you guys aren't aware already we actually got brand new titles episode titles explaining what's gonna happen in the future episodes basically telling us that ash does lose the first uh well facing wolfric the first time he does lose that um gym battle and he has to deal with it in the next episode in a forest in a cave we don't know yet we just got a picture and the title but we just need to talk about how shocking this is that he's gonna lose like the second gym battle against wolfric like what, what are you guys thoughts on that like the last time he lost the gym battle was against viola and now we're here at the eighth gym battle with gym match and he's losing yet again what's going on well i think that just the loss itself would be enough to kind of upset him but i think it's also important to keep in mind he's like on a big losing streak right now he just lost against diantha he lost against sawyer on the previous episode and now he's set to lose uh yet again and i mean i guess uh he also lost to alon if you want to count that that was a little while back so yeah he's on a big losing streak right now so obviously like obviously something's wrong here he's gonna have to figure out what's going on he's i don't think he's gonna take this very well like we saw in his last loss with uh, Sawyer, he was trying to put on like a like a face, like it wasn't a big deal. But Pikachu obviously saw that something was wrong, and I think he's not going to be able to put on that facade anymore. Like, yeah, it's going to get to him for real this time. Right. I mean, Pikachu's been his longest traveling companion, and he knows when there's something wrong with Ash. Like Ash can't put that front, and then Pikachu, he knows for a fact there's, he's hurting inside. He's just putting a face for everyone else, so they don't worry about him. But as viewers, if you watched them in the beginning, you know, when he puts those faces on, there's something really wrong. So hopefully that does get addressed later on in the future and these next two upcoming episodes. But what about you, Evie? What do you think? Um, yeah, definitely. When you look back at the first gym battle, uh, Ash did lose that gym battle against Viola. And he, he was a bit depressed, but that was only for that one episode. And keep in mind, you guys... Um, you know, after Viola's, after his loss against Viola, we went, we went on to the next episode. Uh, Ash recuperated his form, and from there, he already got his rematch. Right. On this upcoming gym battle, Ash loses to Wolfric, but then we're going to be having an episode in between, in between the first gym battle and the rematch. So, Ash losing is going to have a big impact on him, because like, like what you guys said before already, um, Ash has been on a losing streak. And I think if Ash is going to ever learn anything off of this, especially with the transformation that's been going on with Ash Green Ninja, um, this, um, the episode that's going to be coming up after um, next week's episode is going, is going to definitely be a big one for not just Ash, but for Green Ninja as well. Right. Like, when he lost that first gym battle against Viola, like, yeah, this is his first time entering this brand new region. He just captured this new Pokemon who he hardly trained and he jumps into this battle and he loses and yeah his reaction is normal he doesn't know what's going on he resolves it by training and obviously Serena being there but you have to realize now now he's he has experience going into this eighth gym match and him losing this like I, I understand the momentum's carrying um, from his pr previous losses into this gym match so yeah I could see why they're gonna dedicate a full episode for him to kind of like figure out what's going on I mean for the title summary it says that he does leave the gang and you know tries to figure out what's going on he's in a cave with Pokemon comforting them but yeah it, it there's a lot of things that could possibly happen here um, that we will address later on um, one of them being flashbacks, but like I said, we'll be addressing that later on. But, uh, yeah, he has a bunch of experience, and him losing this is really surprising. And, well, at the same time, too, you have to realize that Wolfric does have a Mega Evolution, and, you know, that could be challenging for Ash. But uh, how do you think, uh, what do you think the group's reaction is going to be to Ash losing this? I mean, you know for a fact Clement, Serena, and Bonnie have been traveling with him. Um, throughout all this, uh, these gym matches he's been facing. So what do you think their initial reaction is going to be after watching him lose yet another match and an important one like this too? 
Well, I think、uh, just like the most recent episode where Ash、uh, re- recently lost his shelter, I think he's. I think they're going to have the same reaction,、um, just like before, but maybe sl- a slightly different reaction. Maybe they're, they're going to be more concerned for Ash.、Um, maybe towards Ash Greninja, who's been、uh, giving it all. He's a hundred percent, but still ends up losing the gym battle. So,、um, honestly, I don't really expect anything.、Um, New, you could say, compared to the reaction they've had again with、uh, Shota, but、uh, yeah,、um, just the same concern, worry for Ash. Right. What about you, DJ?、Uh, I think that since this is going to be a gym battle, I feel like that they're gonna have more sympathy toward him. I think they'll try harder to make sure that he's okay because they're gonna know this is this loss this in particular is more of a big deal because it affects. Like his progress and his ultimate goal of the Kalos League, I think it's also going to be interesting this time because Sawyer's going to be with them. We see that he's in the,、uh, he's in the, in the episode, he's going to be watching、yeah. the battle next week. Yeah. So like, and he's going to be、uh, trying to、uh, yeah, what's going on、well. with Ash too? Yeah, it's like he, he Ash is this role model that he looks up to, and seeing him in that type of situation, that's going to worry him too. Um, go on.、Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Just、uh, yeah, the kind of like where this is going to be a bigger deal for Ash. It's going to be a bigger deal for them because it's a gym battle along with the other losses. Like they're gonna, I think they're gonna pay special attention to it. Yeah, hopefully. Right. Right, and the, like I said,、uh, they have a full episode dedicated to this, so hopefully they do it the right way. Um, but yeah, this episode, the episode between these two gym matches, it, like it's an episode I'm really excited for because, like I said previously,、um, we could possibly see flashbacks of、uh, previous battles that he faced in the Kalos region,、uh, maybe even before, like in back gens. That's like a f- like that's what I'm hoping for. But if not, then、um, yeah, we could possibly see flashbacks.、Um, it looks like it's raining, so he's gonna be separated from the gang. He's gonna. Try to figure out what's going on with him. Like you know, he's been on this huge win streak that people were complaining about before, like on social media, saying like, "Hey, Ash is on this huge win streak. He's unstoppable." And now four losses in a row. Like, what's going on? You know. So,、uh, what do you think he has to fix in order to re- like you know in order to fix in order to actually win a match? Well, if you ask me, I think. While Ash has been、um, battling really well、uh, before he comes to his winning streaks, you know, you, you've got to think. You got to think that within the X and Y series, Ash all, has only received a total of about six losses. I think, if you ask me,、um, he doesn't learn anything from what he's done wrong in those defeats. Like, I, I don't know. It's it's just been a while that Ash has been on a losing streak like this, so. I don't really think it'll be normal of him to、um, win over what it is that he did wrong. If there's anything wrong with his Pokemon or himself,、um, right? But, yeah, I think it's、um, just not realizing his own his own mistakes and what he could learn from them is what、uh, he's missing. Right, and something I do want to address real quick before we get to you, DJ, is that they're putting so much attention on Green Ninja. It makes me wonder, like. Is it because he's not training with his other Pokemon as well? I don't think that's the case. I mean, we did see Noivern learn a new move in Off Screen Land in the battle against Shota, but it, it makes me wonder. Like, maybe he's paying way too much attention on this new transformation that the other Pokemon are kind of like, "Hey, Ash, we haven't trained in a while. You're so focused on learning this new transformation that、yes. you can't. Yeah, like you haven't trained us. We haven't learned any new strategies. Like, you know his rhythm: attack, attack, attack." But how are you gonna attack with no strategy? You know, it's not just plain yelling out, saying a move, and you know they do a move. You gotta strategize and think what's next. You know, practice dodging, practice doing these moves, learning new moves. But uh, yeah, that's th- that's a theory of mine. But maybe that's not the case. But going back to you, DJ, what do you think? What do you think he has to fix? Well, to me, I think the whole situation is gonna revolve around Astro Ninja. I feel like when he goes off Soul Search or whatever, a big deal is gonna be. Uh, what do I do about Ash Greninja? Because this losing streak he's on, all of it's been essentially caused by that. 
in his Alon and Diantha battle, he collapsed in the middle of it because he overdid it. Sawyer, something went wrong with synchronization or something. Like, for whatever reason, it didn't work as well. So clearly he's got a lot to learn about it. And I think that's what the episode after he loses is going to focus on. Like, what can he do to practice on that? But I like, I like what you are saying about it also being because he's not paying enough attention to his other Pokemon. Maybe he's putting too much focus into Greninja, and that's part of the problem. So I think I think that particular episode, when we get to it, is going to be big in, like, the development for how Ash is, like, with training his Pokemon and how he is with Greninja. I think it's going to be really interesting to see. Right. And, and something... Um... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I, I just want to uh, say something quick, and I, I want to take back my argument now because uh, you two uh, did um, make me realize, and I, I can't believe I didn't realize this myself, but these past few losses ha does have to involve with Ash Greninja because, uh, you know, first we got uh, first the Long, first Diantha, first Shota. Usually, his the battles usually end his Greninja, so I, yeah, I think I'm gonna take back my, my argument here and gonna say that yes, it does have to it does have something to do with Ash Greninja and perhaps not paying much attention or focus on his other Pokemon. Right. I mean, Pikachu, if I have to remind the audience, Pikachu did beat Omega Lucario. So it's not like Greninja is the only Pokemon that could beat Omega Evolution Pokemon. Just letting everyone know right there. Um, something else that I think that we're going to see in that episode where he's trying to fix, what's, um, fix his losing streak is that is he going to have anxiety over the fact like, hey, we're nearing the Kalos League and I'm I'm bidding on a losing streak. I don't even like am I even to go over there and just lose? Like I there's no chance of me winning, you know. Is he gonna doubt himself? I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but I have a feeling something like that's gonna happen and Serena's gonna be the one to say, Hey, like you had this dream since the start. I don't wanna get into this because I know it has to deal with the more shipping, but that's a poss uh, that's a theory of mine as well. Maybe he starts doubting himself and Serena or one of the gang members or the whole group ha um, has to let him know like, hey, you've been working hard on this. You're Ash. You could fix this. Don't give up till this over, right? Bring up that quote back up. But uh, yeah, I, I wonder what they're going to do with that uh, that episode with him trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, yeah, what do you think he's going to do in that cave, or like, what do you think he's going to do by himself? Like, do you think flashbacks will occur, or what's going to go down when he's by himself? Hmm. I think, um, by the looks of the picture, he's going to be, um, in my opinion, he's going to be going to that Pokemon Village. I can't recall the name correctly. Um, the Pokemon Village in the X and Y games. I believe he's going to be receiving some sort of um, experience, so he's going to learn something off of those Pokemon. Um, I don't know how they're going. I, I don't know how the writers are going to execute execute this, but um, I, I think they have something to do with um, with what, what's going to go down when Ash goes out to uh, to this cave or um, woods or forest, wherever he's going. Right. What about you, DJ? Yeah, it's kind of hard to say, like specifically. Yeah, what it could be right now. I think just, we still have to wait a little bit longer to speculate further. But I feel like since it seems like so far they're focusing, they, they've shown us that he's with all these Pokemon uh, in the woods somewhere. So maybe like maybe him doing that teaches him how to a uh, bond better. Because I mean, he already has such a close bond with all of his Pokemon. So maybe it's like, oh, well, if I could form a bond. Uh, relatively quickly with all these stranger Pokemon that I don't know. Maybe that'll somehow strengthen how well he could synchronize with Ash Ninja or train his Pokemon better. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right. And I think, like, he's way too confident with Green Ninja's transformation as well. Like, I think he relies too much on it. Like, he has to have another game plan in order to win gym battles. Because, like Edgar said before, every battle does end off with that transformation. And I get it. This is your strongest Pokemon in your team right now. You're on top of the world, but you got to realize you got other team members as well. So, you got to figure out a game plan for them to um, take, uh, give the final hit. So hopefully that's the case for uh, well that hopefully he does fix that in the Kalos League because I don't want him to lose because he messed up or he relies too much on that transformation because if that's the case I'm gonna uh, that's it for another discussion but uh anything else to add upon this or you think we touched upon this enough? 
I think it's good enough. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so uh, you know, after he re he recollects, uh, he fixes everything, and he wins the next. Because obviously, he after this episode, he's going to win the next gym battle. Um, what do you think the future is for your Ash Green Ninja? Do you think he fixed it, or do you think he uh, figured out another game plan with his other Pokemon? Like just trying not to rely too much on Greninja. I don't know if this will like 100% solve everything yet, but I feel like it's going to be a big step in the right direction, at least. Right. And um, I personally think that the episode coming right after the first match will be a turning point, you could say. A, um, it will be one of the m more important episodes for not only Ash, but Greninja himself, because it, I believe it's going to revolve around Ash Greninja, and if that's going to be the case, if, when if we're going to have an episode re revolving around Ash Greninja, um, yeah, I just um, I hope they handle it right. You know, I don't like you said, ta uh, ta well, DJ, <laughs> um, I don't, ex I don't really think it'll be um, like the end game. Like Ash will fully master this transformation. Who knows? But yeah, I definitely believe that this episode will be a rather important important development episode for both individuals right i mean we don't want to see our main protagonist lose his composure and you know this ash who doubts himself all the time like no one wants to see that happen so hopefully everything gets addressed in that episode and everything fixes itself and we move on to the Kalos league because that's crazy to think after this gym battle we're headed off to the Kalos league we're almost there, guys, towards the end of this series. But for right now, Ash has to figure out what the heck is going on with his transformation. Let him recollect um, himself, and hopefully we get some good um, upcoming episodes ahead. Anything else you guys want to add upon this before we end off this discussion? Um, yeah, I do want to say something really quick, and it's in regards to Wolfric. Now, I want to bring I want to bring Wolfric into this because if you guys don't know, Wolfric is going to be the only gym leader within this series where we're not really going to get like an introduction episode. You know what I'm saying? Because other gym leaders like Karina, well, actually, he's not the only one, but we've, we've recently had episodes where we got introduced to Karina and then some episodes later we get to the gym battle, same for Ramos and Valerie. Um, I'm hoping that for this Dawn of Evo Evolution episode, Wolfric plays a role in this. I think it'll be a brilliant way because, because if you guys remember, he's within this this opening. Now, I I know that openings don't always correlate with what's what's happening in the actual series itself, but I definitely believe he'll be playing a big role with um, helping Ash and Greninja with their problem. Right. I I get what you mean. I mean, like in the opening, like you said, he does look like he's very fond of Pokemon. He cares for them. So I wonder if he's going to be some sort of mentor to Ash. I doubt it. I mean, he is the gym leader after all. But, you know, going back to Ramos, he did give him some advice, like be patient and all that. And obviously that helped him with his gym battle. So maybe Wolfric will do something similar to that. We'll see. Or maybe he tells again, like, hey, Ash needs some space. You shouldn't go looking out for him. Let him figure out things himself. And uh, you'll see him back up to his usual self. So... Maybe that's the case, maybe it's not. Guess we'll have to wait and see. But um, is that it, or we good? No, I just want to quickly uh, point that out there. I think it'll be something important. Okay, well, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this discussion video. Let us know in the comments below. What do you guys think is going to happen in this episode between the rematch and the first gym battle? He's oh, Well, the first gym match he's going to face against Wolfric. Do you think we're going to see some flashbacks? What do you think the gang is going to do? To help out Ash, or do you think Wolfric's going to, like I said before, tell him like, hey, he needs his own space? Let us know in the comments below. Give us your theories. We we always read the comments, so we always love reading those. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I've been Tass Official, and today with me to help me out this discussion is. See you later, guys. I've been DJ Sock Puppets. I'll see you all another time. Thank you guys so much for watching. The name is Alpha Ebi. I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next. Talk to you guys later.